for Pattern Traders, it is August 29th and on Monday, new week. Um, we have three daily closes to go until the month and candle. I personally think that we're really not going to see much of a trend shift until the quarterly closes. And before I get into BTC and, and what I'm expecting in the upcoming days or upcoming weeks, you have to take in consideration what we've done so far with the quarterly, <clears throat> with the quarterly positioning. So as we know that Wall Street likes to position, position themselves quarter by quarter, right? So if you take into consideration the previous quarter, uh, from March until June, all we did was downtrend. This is the first time that we consolidated, right? This is the first time the quarterly, uh, zone has been consolidated in and assuming that we do end up closing this quarter da, 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 here, I still expect this to be chop until we get into October. And then from October, November to December, I'm expecting a move to the top side. I don't think we're going to be dumping. I'm looking to buy. A lot of, I'm looking to enter the market with potentially majority of my, of my, um, of my stash. Um, there is a, here we go. There is a, based on my theory and the, and the data that I've back tested, there is, there is a strategy that I put in place when I was trading with the VWAPs. Um, you don't really break the quarterly VWAP on the first attempt. So I'm, I'm pretty confident. Obviously anything could happen, but I'm pretty confident based on my own studies that this is going to hold us for the time being and, um, that, the that, the, that the low shouldn't get breached at the low is in shouldn't get breached and they, in the event that we do happen to, um, consolidate a wick a little bit and go back up. I mean, I don't even want to see that. I don't even want to see this wick get breached at all until we get back up to that, like between 28 and $32,000 range. I don't want to see it get breached. I, I know that everybody's expecting 15, 13, 12 K lows. Uh, new lows rather, which could potentially happen, but I don't want to see it. I want it to come from a lot higher. I'm not telling you that the bottom is in macro wise, but I'm telling you from a local perspective, I don't want to see a new low. Anyway, keep this in mind. If we do happen to breach this low, you know what the, you know what the, what the strategy is going to be. Wait until it gets breached. So once it gets reclaimed from the down to the top side, buy it. And then you want to target. Twenty-seven to twenty-eight thousand dollars. The target will be pretty much the quarterly VWAP. The quarterly VWAP on the top side. The way I'm going to play this from a high time frame perspective is, I think that once the Q4 quarterly VWAP opens up and populates itself on the screen, come sometime in October first, then I'm assuming it's either going to offer its support and we're going to keep bouncing off it, break above it, come back down, retest it, and then we're going to carry on to roughly about twenty-eight and thirty-two thousand dollars. I don't think that we're heading down to 10K from here. Now, in the event that we do, I mean, we're going to have to reconsolidate. We're going to have to spend another full freaking quarter ranging and doing nothing but chopping around until we create enough of an accumulation range to break above. I don't want to talk about this any longer because all we've done this whole, give or take about what, summer, right? Since June until now, just chop around. We consolidated from 17,000, went up to 25, and then we're right back down to $19,000, right? So we did absolutely nothing significant at all other than chop around. But just keep in mind when the quarterly view up does open up uh, in October, be mindful of it. One second, guys, I got to check something. My email just popped up. Sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so that's pretty much my high top perspective. Obviously, you know, um, the daily looks pretty decent. It's actually trying to reset itself at the bottom. It is still downtrending, by the way, guys. It is bearish, so... We, we, no matter what happens, we're going to probably put in a lower high and then go in front of the dumb. You know, we're, we're still trending to the downside. There's nothing about this that is bullish. Keep that in mind. Weekly, as I indicated in the past, the past couple of months, you don't really think this isn't macro bullish, guys. Anyone that's assuming that this is macro bullish isn't really too familiar with how the oscillators work. This thing has to come down and do a reset and it's a weekly time frame. So the reset's going to be a, a pretty significant dump, right? So more likely than now, when it does happen to go for a full blown reset, which could take a couple of months, it's going to offer a good buying opportunity. Okay. Keep that in mind. Go to the lower time frame so we can play lover to lover right now and let's see what we got over here. Now, most important thing I want to see is my weekend range. Close everything. I don't care about Monday right now. I want to see. <coughs> Where's weekend? Weekend, weekend, weekend. Weekend range. Highlight. See me close. Weekend. Range. Close. Weekend. Okay. So. All right, the weekly open is technically speaking the weekly low, a little bit less, right? The weekly low is roughly about 19.5.
weekly open is, yeah, same thing. Off by like maybe 20, 30 points. So more likely than not, we're going to go down for a sweep, guys. You know, all we did over the weekend was just chop and, and bleed, right? So break above, take out weekend high, which looks likely to take place. Let's go to lower time frame perspective. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay. Let me see, open up the FEG. Is an FEG here? Which should be. Let me see FEG. Open up. Come on. All right. Yeah, there is the EQ for the FEG. Let me put this and make this black so we can see it. The AQ for the FEG is roughly about 20,500. Okay, so, I mean, it's as simple as that for me, right, guys? But before I say that, let me go to the order block and see how the order blocks look. Order blocks, we do have one at, we do have a one hour order block at roughly about 21.6, which is the, pre, the, the consolidation that led to this dump. Anyway, let's close this for the time being. Open up the FEG. This is what I'm looking at from the lower time frame perspective. Uh, CME close, close roughly about say 20,400. I hope that that is correct because I have not tested this indicator yet for CME. But if it's wrong, someone please DM me and tell me this way I can get drive to fix the, the code. Um, weekend high is still sitting at roughly about 20,400, assuming that whatever move we get to the top side will offer a significant dump back down. Um, whether the 20,500 is going to dump us or whether the, <laughs> the obvious 21,500 will dump us, whichever the two we're going to get dumped on again. I don't think that we're going to be pumping up all the way up to $24,000 from here. Um, if we close everything and look to look at a low, uh, at a, there we go. At a little bit of a higher time frame, open up your order block, FVG is an order block. All you technically really need on a Monday and on a Tuesday is the FVG and the order block indicator. Come Wednesday, you got to start paying attention to your range. So from an order block perspective on the four hour, we do have one below us. Let me close this because it's a little bit complicated. We do have one below us that has a lot of ugly lows. You know, we got one over here. You got one over here. These lows need to be, need to be taken, personally speaking. I don't think it's going to sit going to sit well with me if we do happen to go up and make new highs without those lows being taken. Uh, 72. Oh, actually, we look pretty decent here at a spot. Hold on a second. Let me see something. Where's the 88? Oh, the 88 is what I'm looking at right now. Huh. Okay. All right. Well, guys, based off of low time frame, I want to see a move up to 20,500. Based off of a 12 hour, which is a little bit of a higher time frame perspective, I do want to see one more dump going down to the 18th and then further up to make a lower high. And when I mean by a lower high, I'm talking about an actual, real, legit lower high. Go to your daily time frame. You can put one over here. <coughs> So, oh, wow, we have an order. We have a daily order block here, guys. A daily order block between 21,000 and 21.9. Mm. Any move up for me is a short, guys. I'm letting you guys know right now. Any move up for me is going to be a short and a higher time frame into, into probably a new low over here. I think that we're going to get one more low from here. Yeah, because everything looks like it's been... Let me see how the oscillators look. Why isn't this opening now? Oh, we do have some nice little bull dips forming. We have over unders. 12 hour. Wow, 12 hours building ahead. It's still bare, so we're under the trend line. Yeah, we're going to probably do one more low. Okay. I'll keep this in mind and I'll update the Discord as uh, as the days go on. Probably we're going to have a volatile, a volatile move on uh, come Wednesday. Anyway, look at your daily time frame. Identify, identify your order block perspective where it is. There's going to be your daily order block. B O B. Know that any movement up to roughly about 21.2 to 21.4 is going to be a uh, significant area for us to either hedge or look for shorts. If you open up your TMA, where's my TMA? I never find this TMA, TMA. And the reason why TMA is important to me is because the higher time frame, oh, wow, everything's pointing down. That's not good. The two did destroy us. You see this two did TMA mid? It destroyed us. It knocked us down pretty hard. I mean, is that. If we do happen to get above it, we're going to go straight for that three day, which is sitting at roughly about $26,000. So that's not going to be easy. We'll go to the five day. We're on a five day order block, as you could tell. The floor of your weekly. Oh, we made a weekly order block, guys. That's not good. Wow. So now we got two weekly order blocks. We have the most important one, which is sitting. What is going on here? which is sitting roughly about 29 to roughly about $32,000. And the one above us, which is going to be a little bit of a hard take to get above, 
uh, $22,625,000. Jesus Christ. That's going to be interesting. Let's put a, a little bit of a line here. Let's go back to the 12 hours, see where that, oh, wow. That hope, that hope for validation led to the breakdown. So that means that technically speaking, guys, if you open up your FEG and you open up your OB, any movement back up on a hard time, any movement back up to roughly about mid 22s or low $23,000, guys, be cautious. I'm going to write this up. Uh, low time frame, any move to 20 point, 20.5s, be cautious. High time frame, high time frame meaning like daily, not really macro, right? Like within the next maybe like 48 hours, high time frame or uh, by midweek. Any move to uh, 22.5 to 23.5, be cautious. God, this is important. Be cautious with these two levels. Because um, if you look at it, this isn't a joke. Once you get into this, is going to be a weekly order block. This whole zone is a weekly order block. I'm going to label it right. So... Usually what happens when you get into a weekly order block, you go into your lower time frame and look at low time frame rejection zones, right? So if you go to your daily, do you have any daily blocks there? No, right? You have one <laughs> relatively at 21s. If you go to your 12 hours, you do have a 12 hour block here. So technically speaking, you have double confluence. If you do happen to go into the weekly order block, also tap in the 12 order block, which would more likely than not offer a decent rejection or decent reaction. So be cautious there, guys. Um, that's pretty much it for BTC, and we are still sitting on this five-hour block, but I'm going to put this here so we have it, and this is the weekly. Let me see the FCG. The midpoint of this is 22s. Yeah, I'll be cautious, guys. I'll be very cautious, very, very cautious. This is weekly. Let me put this here. Weekly ID. Weekly OB is here. And then where's the 12 hour? 12 hour. Twelve hour. All right. So I'm gonna put this in the Discord so you guys have it. We'll revert back to it sometime this week. And any questions, just feel free to DM me, guys. Ciao.